Hi everyone, in this lecture I'm going to show you how to style links. So when it comes to CSS there are literally thousands of different ways that you can come up with a different structure and a different style or design for your website. There is not one way, there is like thousands and thousands of ways and everybody has a different taste. Uh, so I'm just going to show you one way that you can apply styles on this link that we have read more. So we have the same content. I've just added the anchor tag in here as well. So first I'm going to grab the section and I'm going to change the font family to Arial. Then I'm going to say, I'm going to do some, uh, I'm going to provide some CSS properties. And I would like to ask you to re don't really worry about these because these are really advanced. I do not want to uh, get into this into these topics in the in this essentials course. And they are they belong to aligning stuff or alignment. So I do have a complete course dedicated to this where I show you how to create three fully fledged real world websites. And that course is the um, Flexbox Grid SaaS and Animations Developer course. It is a bestseller course, so that bestseller says it. You can go ahead and take a look at that course. And uh, there I tackle all of this. So if you're interested in front-end web development, creating websites, uh, you, after you take this essentials course, you can take that course, Flexbox. The reason that this is in, this way is important is because that course is not a beginner level course. It starts from in, intermediate, then it goes to expert. So you need to have intermediate beginner level knowledge of HTML and CSS. And this, these two essentials course, the HTML5 essentials course, along with the CSS3 essentials course, they provide you with beginner to intermediate knowledge of. We do cover some advanced stuff as well, but you're going to like have this idea beginner to intermediate how to work with HTML and CSS. That's a very perfect place for you to take your skills to the next level. Check that course out. That is a really cool course. So I'm going to say display flex. Don't really worry about this. I'm going to say flex direction, column, let's say justify content, center, and align items, align items, center as well. Don't worry about these four properties. And when you do that, they're going to come to the center. So I'm going to grab the H1. I know this says links, this lesson, but I, I want to style the other ones as, uh, somewhat as well. So I'm going to say color is coral. Now you know how these work, so I'm just going to breeze through them. Text transform, uppercase, and I'm going to say text align. Um, we don't need text align, it is already in the center. I'm just going to say, uh, let's grab the font size and set it to 50 pixels. Save that. There we go. And I'm going to grab the paragraph. Uh, let's set the letter spacing to two pixels, word spacing to five pixels, font weight to 900. Let's do that. Could do 700, like a little bit less thick. And now uh, moving on to our uh, link. I'm going to grab the link by its name, which is A or anchor. And I'm going to say text decoration. Now, what text decoration is going to do is, I'm going to zoom in. You can see this underline. It is going to remove that. So the underline is gone. Uh, the background color of this link, I want it to be this color. So you can see that is the background. And now this is where paddings come into place. So if I zoom in, you can see that we have the content and the background color there is no space like the edges of the background color and the content. They're very squished and it doesn't look cool. It doesn't look good. So if you add paddings, let's say 10 pixels, let's just say 15 pixels. Just save it. Now you can see that it has some internal space, padding, internal space, and that's why it's, it looks like the background has been stretched. It has not been stretched. It has been stretched because the, it has to cover the padding as well. I'm gonna grab. I'm gonna provide it some margin of 40 pixels as well, just to bring it down a little. Let's go with some box shadow. So five pixels for horizontal offset, five pixels for the vertical offset, 
three pixel blur radius and long green the color there is the shadow and I'm going to change the color of this the color of the content as well I'm just going to set it to white there we go and now you you can you you might have seen on in some websites that when you hover on any link the styling of the link somehow changes that is called a hover state so you say a uh, a you provide colon this is a pseudo class selector we are going to talk about pseudo class selectors in our next chapter and then you provide hover state and whatever you provide here like background color you want it to be coral coral and when you save it they're not going to be applied they're only going to be applied when you're hovering on this or you're mousing over it there we go there we go there we go and i'm just going to provide and you can see this change is so sharp so abrupt it is not like smooth just to smoothen some stuff you can just provide some transition we're going to talk about transitions as well uh, 0 0.2 seconds is and out don't worry about this as well we are going to cover that and I'm gonna say box shadow let's transition the box shadow as well and uh, basically the same thing just the color is going to be different so the color is going to be uh, three 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 let's save that and there we go so it says transition all 0 0.2 seconds and now you can see that the transition i'm going to get rid of the shadow it doesn't look cool and i'm just going to say a box shadow let's set it to none hopefully it works there we go so you can see that the box shadow goes away and the transition is smooth it's not like abrupt or sudden we could get rid of the transition all like this is I think this looks way better than that I'm not a good designer I do have a designer working with me but I'm not a good designer anyway so yeah, this is visible but I'm just showing you the possibilities that you can do with CSS everything you can think of you can implement it in CSS literally in in context of website design I mean so you can see that this is styling that's it for this lecture and this chapter see you in the next one